So how do we get the best boating experience? Well, if you want to get the best out of your first boating experiences, I wouldn't argue with the Canal and River Trust's advice to choose a place you've previously fallen in love with or an area you've always wanted to explore and then do it by water. But I would add an honest plea for a new hire to avoid setting ambitious targets for travelling long distances to complete some sort of ring or specific journey. Yeah, in theory, your boat will travel at three or four miles an hour and you can cruise eight or ten hours a day in the summer, but that's missing the point. Quite apart from building in frustration when you have to slow down passing moored boats or you meet queues at the locks, you won't get the major benefit from boating, that's relaxation. Get a map, or even better, one of the waterways guides available for your route, and work out nice, comfortable days of travelling that allow you time to stop and explore an historic town, or enjoy a pint or two in a village pub. A good hire boat operator will discuss with you the routes available. And steering a boat is really not difficult, but Learning all the little knacks that make life easier will take somewhat longer. Slower is almost always better than faster on the waterways. And give yourself time, as well as working out in advance the possible consequences of any manoeuvre you plan to make. Other than that, just keep to the right when passing oncoming boats. There's no driving test to pass, and you'll be, giving a full, you'll be given a full handover by the boat operator. At first sight, the cost of hiring a boat for a holiday seems considerable, easily a thousand pounds plus a week and more in the high season, but that's for the whole family. Go abroad and you wouldn't blink at paying several hundred pounds a head, so break down the cost on a per person basis and it becomes very competitive, especially in these days of the falling pound. One word of warning though, boating can become a bit of an obsession. Don't take my word for it. One couple I talked to were on their umpteenth hire, this time for a six-week break on a hire boat from Norbury Wharf here on the Shropshire Union, and they ended up buying a boat of their own. And that rich background is something I, I find common among boaters of all descriptions. Many people uh, who led interesting lives and want to go on being interested in life take up boating. Boating, especially travelling widely on a boat, gives them that ever-changing interest as the scenery, the places and the history flow past their windows or portholes, depending on the choice, of course.